Mark Rutenborg comes this uh, evening for Believer's Baptism, and his wife also is going to get baptized after him. Uh, so Mark and his wife uh, came to our church through his eight days of hope, and uh, he's been in church and different things throughout his life, and uh, but came here and just really connect to our congregation, and uh, during our February push of membership, he wanted to join our church. So Mark met with Matt first, and uh, just wasn't, Matt wasn't real clear on uh, Mark's testimony. So he met with somebody else and still kind of had some hesitations. And uh, it was actually in his uh, men's group um, with uh, Dr. Swain and a few others that uh, he actually stayed after one day and uh, just admitted, man, I, I don't understand the gospel. I don't understand how Christ could send his son. And uh, Brian was able to explain with the other guys that... Um, Man, because of the Trinity, God gave himself for you. It wasn't just him sending his son. He sent himself and died on the cross. And for the first time, Mark really understood and trusted in the gospel. And uh, truly believed in Christ as his Lord and Savior who forgave all of his sins. And so that morning, uh, he came to Christ. And so we met about three weeks later, and I was trying to dig his testimony out. And he said, Man, I came to Christ three weeks ago, and I'm ready to be baptized. So at 73, uh, he is excited, and if you know him, yeah, absolutely. Uh, give the Lord a hand. Just an incredible story, and we thought, what a fitting way. Uh, tonight, he's joined our church uh, through baptism and showing his faith in the Lord. So Mark, upon your profession of faith in Jesus Christ, I now baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried within my baptism, raised the wall in the newness of life. <laughs> Let's go. There you go. <clears throat> Mary, his wife, also comes for believer's baptism uh, this evening. So in 2020, Mark got very sick, and Mary has been going to church all of her life and would say she believed in God all of her life, but it was really through his sickness uh, that she, for the first time, just completely put her faith and trust in the Lord. She knew that she was a sinner, that Christ died for her, and uh, she trusted in Christ. And she's seen over the past four years just life change and a difference, and so she is excited to get baptized tonight to show her faith in the Lord Jesus. Yeah, good. <laughs> Mary, upon your profession of faith, I now baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried within my baptism, raised to walk in the newness of life. <laughs> Amen. What a way to start our Lord's Supper service. Um, we've been having a lot of people who, who have become members, some of those through baptism and other things. We actually had a new member gathering. We had about 100 folk who joined the church. So if you'd like information about joining the church, getting baptiz baptized, please uh, let us know. Let's stand and continue to worship our Lord tonight at the Lord's Supper.